Hurricane Debbie has made landfall in Steinhatchee, Florida, right around 7 this morning. Maximum winds were estimated around 80 miles an hour. This is how it looked in Clearwater Beach yesterday as the outer bands of the storm hit the area. And obviously between then and now, we're seeing a lot of rainfall, wind, and 6 to 10 foot storm surge. All in Florida's Big Bend area as this continues to gradually move inland. This is going to be the though a big rainmaker more than anything else. And here is the latest on this system. It is still a hurricane. Winds are of 75 miles an hour. Those are maximum sustained winds. And this system is expected to keep moving inland through the southeast United States over open waters and then back inland again very slowly though. Some pretty bad flooding is expected down there as it gradually makes its way up towards the mid-Atlantic. We'll be eyeing it towards the end of the week for potential impacts for us. Details still pretty unclear with the track of this one. It's a tricky one, but we'll be sure to keep you updated. In the next couple of days, more than anything, we've got heat for today, and then this cold front's going to drop down and bring us the chance for some isolated showers and even some thunderstorms come tomorrow, turning more scattered through dinner time, of course, and that's when we're going to have to keep an eye out for some storms as well. Right now, temperatures are in the 60s, low to mid 70s. Today, it's the heat more than anything else. We are talking temperatures in the 90s, but feels like numbers between 92 to 97. Our UV index is going to be an eight. So of course, sunscreen and reapply if you're our outdoor workers and you'll be out for prolonged periods of time. Low 90s today, not a drop of rain during the daytime hours, but tonight we could get a stray shower, maybe a rumble to the north and to the northwest of Harrisburg with warm and stuffy lows again. And I'll show you that. We'll see some storms develop along the northern tier of the state and some of them, a couple leftovers, but they'd be weakening, could clip parts of Mifflin, maybe Juniata counties overnight. But around dinner time tomorrow, that's when some scattered storms move in and storms could produce torrential downpours and potentially even some damaging wind gusts. Now today's severe weather threat should stay to the north. Tomorrow it's a level one out of five threat for our entire area and I think we have to watch the flooding threat too. In fact, it is highest to the east of Harrisburg in York and Lancaster counties. So that's something we have to monitor. I think even more than the isolated damaging wind gust threat. Think of it very similar to this past Saturday. Then what a cool down. Maybe a few stray showers Wednesday and we hover near 80 through the end of the week. We're watching the Friday to Saturday time frame for potential Debbie impacts and we'll keep you up to date as those become clearer.